There's no question that we're 50% down in revenues, 50% down on a beach, parking meters, business communities down, it could be anywhere from 25 to 50%, and some maybe even worse. It was a beach season some thought wouldn't even happen, but after a late start and limited business capacity, shore towns are doing everything they can to recoup the money they've lost, like keeping the beaches open with lifeguards through October. Many of our summer residents are working here in Seaside Heights, where they normally be in their base home, wherever they come from, they're here. Let's open it up. So how can you afford to pay for more lifeguards if you're at a 50% loss? Okay, what we're doing, as I said, it's different. We're charging now. We're after Labor Day, we never charged before. So the monies we derive will pay for the gate attendants and the lifeguards. So it's really, if everything goes right, it's a wash. We're not looking to make a profit. Pay the lifeguards, pay it, but we're also having people come to our community. And that, they hope, will bolster the struggling businesses like Lucky Leo's on the boardwalk. We've seen a dramatic drop in attendance, yeah. so it's really important that the boardwalk stays open uh, for its beaches so we can continue to deliver fun safely uh, to all those who got a late start to their summer here into the September month. So how do you create that consumer confidence so people know that this place is clean and they can use the facility? So the sanitizing operation is a big deal here. We have somebody on staff at all times washing the high touch areas, which is extremely important because everybody is touching things in the arcade. So a lot of our patrons know and trust in our family business that we've been doing it right ever since the beginning and that we'll continue to do it right. So far, 13 shore towns have extended their season into September. Allenhurst, Manasquan and Ocean Grove are some that'll be open for two weekends after Labor Day. Seaside Heights, Bradley Beach and Long Branch are among those staffing lifeguards through September 30th. And it's not just good for businesses, but for those who rent their homes, like Jean Coy. It's very, very exciting for us and it, it's good. It's good to, even though it's not um, prime rental income, it's still income for us. And if people can't be extending out into other states and taking their vacations, um, it's wonderful that they're staying in the tri-state area and really getting, you know, this business and everything back and going. How much did you lose not being able to rent in those early weeks? How many weeks were you not able to rent? We only lost about um, four rentals in June. And once things started to open up and ease up a little bit, then we started to get those rentals in the coming fall months. And with indoor dining at 25% capacity starting today, seaside restaurants are trying to make the most of these last warm weather weeks. People really love the outdoor dining. Um, so as a result of, because uh, we, we never had this before. And, and once again, the borough of Seaside Heights helped a lot of us by allowing us to use this outdoor space. So, you know, we'll work our Facebook page and, you know, when, uh, you know, it's all weather, you know. There's an expression, when the sun shines, we're all geniuses. So if you're a shore town business owner, you're used to riding the waves of a tough season, but not all changes are bad. And things like outdoor dining might just be here to stay. I'm Joanna Gagas, NJTV News. Thank you.